Hi, Angie Wagler here for Arise Now in the Two Minute Wake Up Call. I want to speak to you today about flies. It wasn't too long ago I did a two minute wake up call about the fly that was caught in my kitchen door and how it was a captive and how we wanted to set it free to fly. Well, I want to speak to you about flies in a different vein today. When we lived in the country, it was very common, normal for us to have multiple numerous flies buzzing around our home. But when we moved to the city, it was very uncommon to have a, even one fly in the house. If we did, it was usually just one, um, two at the most at one, any given time. Well, something unusual has been happening this week in our home. The last number of days, we've had, um, I wouldn't say a huge amount, but enough to get us thinking something is really strange. We've had big flies, big flies. We've had little flies, and we've had mid-sized flies. But the big flies are bigger than what is normal. And so it got me to thinking got me to thinking about Jesus in his time, what the scribes and Pharisees called the devil. They called him Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. And what did Jesus say about the devil? He said that he was the father of lies. And we are instructed in Corinthians to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Sometimes our thoughts aren't true. Sometimes they're not noble. Sometimes they are lies. Sometimes we have lies buzzing around our head and we need to take them captive. I've been swatting the flies with uh, whatever I can because I, it, they're so uncommon in our house that we don't even have a fly swatter anymore. I can't find one so I've been using tape, paper towel rolls. Well I want to encourage you to swat the lies um, pay attention to your thoughts. What doesn't come into alignment with God's heart and God's thoughts for you and for others? We'll take them captive. Swat them. Get rid of those suckers. Don't let them buzz around your head any longer. Well, on that note, I want to uh, encourage you to think on that. And until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.